This is another Turbine Guy Network special investigative report. Folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you with what I just picked up online. An Aquavile E. coli and coliform testing kit. I'm going to use one of these here and one out at the landing. And I opened my water up I got from there. And oh my God, does that stuff stink. I'm going to have to figure out how to get the water in here without touching the actual water myself. Now we can see it's not really a very clear color, which isn't helpful. But I'm going to shake it up anyways. We need to come up with anything red to see if there's an issue. Now it says it's 68 to 77 degrees. We have to pretty much let this sit here for up to three days, 72 hours, before we get a real result. Well, I'm back at the culvert area. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just some kind of sheen, some junk right on top of this. So it's already icking up again. But I came down, and boom. I filled my two different tests so I can bring them home and see how they test them. It's been 72 hours since I put these samples together. So now it's time to check. They've had time to incubate. And if we look at the sample that I took after they cleaned everything out, that's nice and yellow like the left of the sheet says. But if we look at the sample from the gunky crap that I took out of there, that's red. That's over to the right of that one CFU per milliliter line, meaning that there is E. coli in somewhere in there. The home testing kit I got showed that the original water did have E. coli, this chunky stuff I'm showing right here in the corner, and that after Orno came and cleaned it out, it didn't have it. Well, that's just a home testing kit. It's probably not very accurate, but if it came up with E. coli, I'm going with E. coli. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agencies came out and they did their own testing. They, I'm sure it's a little bit more technical and refined than the one I did. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that comes out since Orno cleaned it. Because you got to remember, they didn't test that original water because Orno scampered their little uh, tootsies out here and cleaned it out when the turbine guy pointed out what was going on. I can't wait to see what the MPCA has to say. Not only about this, but... You won't believe where the city of Orno dumped the E. coli laden water over there out afterwards. Well, that's the subject of my next video. Well, folks, according to my test, Orno been dumping E. coli into North Arm. Let's get this to stop. Turbine Guy, signing off.